Since 1999, Nigeria started a democratic system of government in the country. The leadership of People's Democratic Party has built a party structure across 774 local government and 36 states of the federation as a way to hold on to power for 16 years. In 2015 election, all the political parties came together to form one party which was called the All Progressives Congress to answer its PDP-led government in 2015. Seven years down the line, as Nigerians prepare for 2023 general election, Labour Party has become third first as Nigerians look towards a change of government over insecurities, hardship, corruption and education system that is dying in the country at the moment. Our Sabah correspondent Apomo Jero Friday reported that there were mixed reactions from Delta residents on who becomes the next president of Nigeria with a view to having a better country as citizens are faced with difficult challenges in different parts of the country. I know that Peter Kobe has not, he has not built bridges and he has not invested any kind of goodwill across the Nigerian states. Who cares to listen to that? We are even lucky that the APC came to power at the time we did. While it is unfortunate for the APC, it is fortunate for the, for the country, for Nigerians. Because if PDP had returned with the level of mad looting that they are known for, by now I wonder if Nigeria would have still been in existence. They would have looted this country into, 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 into extinction. This is not about being an APC man, this is not about being a PDP man. Do to know that they are better off with the coming of an Ashiwaju president than any other one, than an article that will come and continue the little spree of the PDP or a P2B that will cover Anambra for eight years and have nothing to show for it. The, 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 the choice is there for us to make. Yeah, our mission for now, we're coming for redemption. We're coming to the things, the mesmerization that have been contained by the, the APC eight years government, uh, government of uh, uh, Major General President Buhari. I think we, we, we're looking at the situation whereby we come with our redemption drive to pull them, pull it, the capital of the APC government and make streets and face issues like you just mentioned on insecurity, food shortages, economic collapse, and a lot of other things that are coming up. I'm quite convinced that the period is going to make something out of it. Yeah. Like a tsunami of you know, the labor part of the issue. But it could be tsunami, not to rival the things we've done before, that were using as our templates. There could be tsunami in the scene, but what we see with PDB on the ground, based on our structure, I do not think the issue of labor party is going to come to the Labour party, they have been promising Nigeria. The promises are so much that, by the end of the day, they are not going to achieve it. This temple to be in question is always giving reference to himself. He invested federal uh, Anambra state government money, public funds, into his, a business that his family has shares. Tobi should be in prison because South Korea president that influenced contracts and donations to his, her friends' uh, NGOs, she was calling in prison for other party cannot unseat APC. Had it been Tinubu of APC had a good health, Tinubu could have done better for Nigerians in terms of infrastructure. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.